Octet, it's an eight-piece composers collective. So what that means is that there's eight people in the band, but um, as well as being an eight-piece jazz band, everybody composes for the band. So um, we have a, a instrumentation, we have bass and drums and, and vibraphone and piano, and then we have a four-piece horn line, alto sax, tenor sax, trombone, and trumpet. And um, we get together every year, and uh, as well as recording and playing our original music, we um, select the work of a uh, jazz of a great jazz composer who we're going to honor that year by doing arrangements of um, or his or her repertoire. At the beginning of the band, we had um, an arranger do that for us, and then we kind of decided that you know it would be even more personal if we did the arrangements as well, not just the originals. So um, the arrangements really end up being like originals. Everyone's voice comes out really, really strongly, um, but just on a different context because we're dealing with these um, fantastic kind of standards, be they hard bop or, or, or um, you know, the work of Stevie Wonder, which is what we're doing this year, um, which has a lot of like jazz elements, but isn't strictly jazz. Stevie is so influential, you know, to every uh, musician, I think, um, to everyone who, who is into like 20th century music. And there's a lot about his um, music that is like relevant to jazz, a lot about the harmony. I mean, Basically, it's just great music, and he's like one of those artists that um, doesn't come along very often. The band is a concept of the organization SF Jazz, which is um, based in the Bay Area and um, is, a, is a fantastic organization um, for jazz in, in that it has the San Francisco Jazz Festival in the fall and it has um, a great spring season, very varied um, program of concerts, um, different artists, really a, a great selection of, of um, that which is current in, in jazz today. And um, Randall Klein, the, um, uh, the, the head of SF Jazz and um, Joshua Redman had this idea a few years ago to put together a band such as this. Um, and. Uh, and Josh was like the first artistic director of the band and he's since moved on and, and, and um, we decided to not have an artistic director at the same for everyone to kind of run it and that's been going quite well. Um, but it is a brainchild and a baby of um, SF Jazz, the organization. So that's, that's why SF Jazz Collective and that's why it's not the San Francisco Jazz Collective. I grew up playing classical piano. My mother's a, a piano teacher, so I had all that um, as a as a childhood influence. But then also there was my dad's taste in music, which was um, you know kind of classic '60s and, and '70s pop. Um, so you know there was there was like the record collection, and then there was what I was dealing with on the piano. Um, and then as I kind of started to uh, get into music. On my own terms, I think it, there was just a lot of, um, originally a lot of rock music, you know, when I was young and I was playing electric bass, um, classic rock, Led Zeppelin, um, stuff at the time, uh, Guns N' Roses, that kind of thing, you know. And then I started to kind of, like jazz started to catch my ear at school and um, I had a very good teacher and some, some friends that were... Um, very into it as well, and, and you know, once I heard that, I was just kind of like hooked in, and, and in that world, you know, and, and exploring all the, 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 the greats, Coltrane and Miles and Keith Jarrett and, and Charlie Parker and Coltrane, just, you know, all these fantastic kind of um, formative like voices. So, um, very much, you know, coming from like classical music and jazz and rock and funk. Um, but the collective is made up of like, you know, eight people with similarly diverse experiences or similarly similar, you know, maybe that's the reason that we're in this band together is that we're kind of into some of the same stuff.